the British <clears throat> mansions um, that they used to live in, and then Dr. Huxtable and uh, Greg uh, uh, Kirkley, I think it was, and it was kind of like a like a sapphire color. And then, ooh, that's uh, that's pretty nice right there. And then where you end <coughs> going. Uh, what was I saying again? Fuck. Um, so, kind of like the feeling of it overall is like this shakiness, sort of like an edginess, sort of like, let me go ahead and change the picture up. Let me go ahead and pour some water on top of a painting. You know, let me go ahead and uh, kind of, kind of cause like a protruding sort of thing and then what you end up doing is you just decimate it you just decimate the whole fucking thing and what and and then what ends up what ends up there is uh kind of like this calming sort of sense where you feel like you're the buddha in a way i mean if you've seen pictures of the buddha he'll just be sitting there and it's kind of like this this uh looks so peaceful and serene it's just kind of like acceptance of whatever, you know, as they say in the old stories. And that's what prompted the Geneva Convention to exist. And that's what prompted uh, the utilitarian flags, as well as the, uh, the puzzle of, uh, and proclamation of uh, independent <coughs> independence and uh, bags of groceries. So... <clears throat> When the fair is open, uh, try getting on a, a Ferris wheel. Now, mathematically speaking, you're going to probably start at about five, go to eight, and you're gonna think about doing like maybe six, seven, nine, and twelve. <coughs> and when you get there, uh, that's gonna bring us back to one of my old podcasts, uh, actually one of my most recent podcasts. And as soon as someone says they're out, then that's just, it's like, how can you doubt it anymore? How can you, how can, how can you truly doubt that? And uh, when there's like a grenade launcher of sorts, and it's like a demolition kind of factor, and uh, it's beautiful because you go back up to the stars, and you look at the stars in the sky, you see the nebulas, you see the colors purple. You see the colors magenta, you see blue, you feel the anger of uh, someone who's resentful, and then you, you're able to, to kind of formulate a sphere around it, and you're able to squash it, destroy it, attack it, the whole fucking thing, and what ends up happening then is you sit down on top of this chair, and you realize some type of truth, and there's no... Uh, there's no hearing at that point in the headphones um, because the when the wires curl, it's just kind of like, oh my gosh, that is so musical. How is that possible? How is it so musically inclined? And then you have the headphones, you have the microphone, and then you mic drop because that's from the dream. And when you realize the truth of exactly what had happened from a young age, it's just kind of like, burn through the doors, you burn through the walls, and then, you know, you take the sun, and you take the moon, you know, and they come up with that kind of meme, and it's like a, a, like a frosty situation, and then you look at that giant snowman, and you suddenly see it become so small, it becomes so small and easy to step on, and it's just kind of like, well shit, why did that happen, and you have to consider Back in the day, uh, the curly-haired people were not very friendly toward winter times. And then you also look at the straight-haired people and they're like, okay, well, there's preparation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shake hands on this matter of the Pantheon. And there's kind of a lightning bolt that strikes uh, beneath. And you can see all the sand just fly up into the air. And then uh, there's a voice of, of concern that appears, and it's just like, okay, where are my glasses? 
And then suddenly, when you finally realize the truth about that, then it's uh, it's like a scratching sort of sensation. And as a man, you figure it out sooner or later that what ends up happening is you just ended up smashing the competition completely, from my point of view. And that's what it's like reloading, and it's one of the best things ever, because as soon as it's gone, then you see the headphones, you see the iPod, you see kind of like uh, the big step up toward uh, evolution, the big step up using uh, food and uh, self-righteousness uh, and uh, sort of a contained canteen filled with uh, some sort of uh, desert-like liquid and they usually call it like a wave of uh, palm trees that have the fronds turned upward and then it goes way, way up and then as soon as that happens, boom, at that level, they're saying, bring that whole thing down. And then, there you go. So thank you so much for uh, listening to my podcast. Uh, it's interesting, the feelings that come up and the, uh, the, types of, uh, the types of thank you that you receive from uh, the oceanic waves and how deep this monster just uh, impenetrated. And it's just, it's an insanity. And uh, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Uh, Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, you understand where I'm coming from with this. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. And uh, enjoy Christmas ornaments, decorations, and Christmas uh, holidays. Everything is beautiful. Everything is wonderful, and nothing is beautiful, nothing is wonderful. So enjoy a very neutral, uh, beige-like Christmas color. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and shut up. All right, and have uh, have a good evening. All right, thank you so much.